very exciting, my very first battle box has arrived. Let's uh, open this up, shall we? Some nice custom tape and stickers. Oh, taped on both sides, nice and secure. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so the box is looking pretty full. I like that. Let's get this packaging out of the way. What have we got? What have we got? So, some War Machine Crucible Guard. I've not seen War Machine miniatures in many, many years, but they look cool. They almost have a bit of a, uh, if we can see, um, Death Corpse vibe to them, or um, what are the slightly more mechanised versions that almost have their deep undersea um, style helmets? I want to say like the uh, Solar Auxiliary or something like that. Um, but they look very cool. So some nice new miniatures to uh, paint later in the month. What else have we got? What else have we got? We've got, ooh, a Red Grass Games Ergo handle. Now that's cool. I've uh, I've not tried their handles before, but I've heard very good things. Uh, oh, some paints. What have we got? We've got some two thin coats. I recently got the entire wave one of these and have been rather impressed. So there'll be a nice oh, three, three of those, three editions, a red, a cream and a black. They'll actually, uh, what I might try and do is use those as my main colours for those uh, War Machine miniatures. Actually, that would be quite cool. Uh, what else have we got going on? We've got a sticker, a battle box sticker, a nice holographic one. Um, a Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy sticker, marvellous. Oh, another bottle of uh, paint. I think, looking at these, that these were all wave one, but I could be mistaken. Uh, we've got a, a badge that looks a little bit like the Battle Box uh, badge, I think, and a Rival Crafts Gamer Scenics uh, sticker. Maybe that's a clue as to something else that's in here. We've also got another sticker here from Battle Box saying tag us at Battle Box. Certainly will do with this video. And then we have, ooh, ooh, we have a Hydro Pack for Wet Palette. So this looks like it is a, um, a set of, what, foam and paper for the Army Painter Wet Palette. Uh, now, I don't have an Army Painter Wet Palette, however... I think I can still find a use for these. Maybe we'll do a, a video on how to make a homemade wet palette to uh, to house these in. Um, and I think, oh, another sticker there. There we go. Uh, I think that's everything in the box. So just to recap on this one, we have got four of the new Duncan Rhodes Wave 1 paints, uh, a Redgrass Games painting handle, some nice miniatures from War Machine, very much looking forward to those. A little pile of stickers, can't go wrong with stickers, and an entire pack of uh, papers and sponge for an Army Painter wet palette. Overall, pretty nice little pack.